Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we're here doing your daily reading for December 24th, 2021. So for those of you who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, then just happy magical energy for you. Okay, there's a lot of a uh, lot of really magic in the air at the moment. Okay, so whatever you happen to celebrate, all right, just blessings to you and love and light to you. All right, so just a reminder to everybody here, these are general readings. Not everything is going to resonate with you. Take the parts that do leave the rest behind. If you do enjoy my reading here today, please don't forget to hit that like button there. Give me that good old thumbs up. And uh, also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But let's get right into your messages for the day. Just so you know as well, I do already have the yearly folk forecast posted. Okay, I do have a playlist for that. If you go to the playlist section, you'll see the yearly forecast. Um, I also have in the next 24 hours, uh, Christmas spirit messages coming out. These are timeless messages and therefore anyone who, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, okay, it's Christmas spirit that is sending the message. So um, those are good messages for anybody. Okay, so be on the lookout for those as well. Well, let's see what energy is coming towards you um, for today. So we've got ceremony coming out and we also have cold moon. The ceremony card marks a very important occasion. Okay, for some of you, you are about to enter a higher level of consciousness, a higher level of being. Pay attention to the signs, symbols and synchronicities that are around you. This also is a energy that shows that wherever you set your intentions, whatever you set out to accomplish, uh, you will achieve your goal and keep persevering and put one foot in front of the other and keep on trucking, keep on going, okay? It's all about intention, about knowing what you wanna get done. For some of you, this is something as very simple as getting all of your groceries done, getting those last minute gifts, okay? Maybe um, putting a plan together to figure out how in the world you're gonna serve an entire meal to a whole bunch of people People and have everything ready all at the same time set your intention and get going but for some of you this really just just does show that there is a wonderful occasion there is something uh, something here and I mean of course these this card represents um, those important moments in life those birthdays anniversaries things like Christmas New Year's all of that and this is that um, reminder here to enjoy the moment Okay, to enjoy the wonderful, powerful energy that surrounds you, to perhaps find the love and light in situations, even if there's something that is like lurking beneath the surface a little bit, right? And quite often, if we're getting together with friends and family, okay, family specifically, okay, then sometimes, you know, we don't always get along with all of our family members, right? Especially like something like siblings, right? You know, siblings tend to fight, but then, you know, sometimes they will fight for each other as well, okay? But there may be some family situation that may. Maybe you just need to let bygones be bygones, okay? At least for, a, you know, at least for a short period of time, right? Sometimes we can just, you know what? I'm just not going to focus on that today. I'm just going to rise above the occasion and we're just going to have some love, light, and positivity that's shining through. For some of you with the ceremony card, you might be at an important crossroads right about now, okay? I'm you know, uh, I think some someone is getting engaged over the Christmas season, okay? Maybe you are, um, you know, attending uh, some function or event or something like that, maybe some social gathering, and you might actually meet an important person, okay? It could be a new friend. It could be someone that, um, you know, someone that... Uh, can help you in your business world, right, with your career path, but it could also be a new love that comes in here as well, okay, and this is something to um, mark on the calendar, okay, very important happening, very important event, okay, so very exciting. We've got the cold moon energy coming here also, all right, and let me see, there's a little poem on that, I didn't read the poem off of that one, but this one is, Take with thy the dreariest of moments. Release me for their tongue and nourish me with light. And this is really all about releasing anything cold, dark, negative, and embracing the light. Sometimes we have things that come up from our subconscious, okay, things that we've ignored for a while or things that um, we have forgotten about, okay, and at this time of year, it's a very powerful energy at this time of year, right? We do get a lot of things coming up to the surface, okay? We do get a lot of things um, a lot of energies, a lot of memories, okay, that come up. 
And so this is your opportunity really here where you can release those energies, okay? You can perhaps um, level up and, um, you know, rise above uh, certain situations, okay? Maybe even find forgiveness so that you can have some inner peace, okay? So that you can move forward lighter and brighter than you were before, okay? And, you know, this can also represent the cold moon energy about nurturing yourself, your dreams, your goals, but maybe even nurturing people in your life as well. You might have those important relationships that you need to spend a little bit more time on, right? Do you have grandparents that maybe you haven't seen enough of or, you know, aunts or uncles, cousins, siblings, parents, okay, all of those. So there might be, um, you know, your opportunity to focus on those important relationships that are in your life and whether your family is by blood or whether it's chosen family, right? Quite often, you know, our chosen family is just like family, right? So, uh, you could certainly have the opportunity to nourish those relationships, okay? But again, you might have new relationships coming in as well, all right? Especially with that ceremony or perhaps you are overcoming an obstacle, okay? And then you just start fresh with something there. But also, again, like I said, with that ceremony card, I think there's some very, very joyous occasion that is right here on the horizon. So perhaps some of you are getting, uh, at least somebody is getting engaged or something over the Christmas season, um, you know, whether you wanted to get engaged and mix the two, mix the two, uh, celebrations together or not. All right. Someone may actually be getting married on, um, in the next couple of days here as well. Okay. For, I'm getting a little bit of a spontaneous energy there also. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So maybe some of you are just going to, maybe someone there is just going to elope, but it's very important. Okay, so this is a really um, important message of embracing the light, okay, especially with that cold moon energy there, embracing the light and letting anything negative, dark, low vibe, letting anything go, rising above, okay, because there is some wonderful energy that is coming in here for you. So I'm just going to pull a few cards. This is the Christmas Tarot. And, of course, I don't get to use these all year, so I'm using these today. So the first card out is going to be your today's uh, energy coming towards you. All right, we've got advice from spirit, and we have blessings headed your way as well. The energy at the bottom of the deck influencing your day and influencing your situation. And we've got the emperor. And the emperor brings you in success, stability, a good, strong, solid foundation. The emperor brings you in the ability to plan, strategize, okay, re-strategize something, okay? And, uh, you know, so if you've got a lot of things to get done, the emperor energy here is to help you power through, okay, and to give you that little extra confidence boost that you might need, okay? But it does bring you in a lot of, um, a lot of uh, success and stability into your day ahead, okay? Showing you that whatever your situation situation is that you can accomplish something wonderful is giving you a little bit of confidence and a little bit of inner strength and power. The emperor can also indicate um, a situation that, um, you know, if you, um, how do I want to say that? The emperor is quite often an advice card. Okay, so you might actually have the ability um, or the opportunity to seek out some advice or some wisdom from somebody who you look up to, okay? Someone who is successful in their own right. Um, they've probably been around the block a number of times and they've had their fair share of ups and downs. And maybe if you're trying to sort something out, okay, or you might just need some advice or some assistance in some way, this could certainly be um, an important person for you that can give you that little bit of information or guidance that you may be looking for. The emperor sometimes does come out as a parental figure, okay? Think of like a father figure, a grandfather, something like that, okay? And this could be a person that maybe you are looking to spend a little bit of time with as well, okay? And at this time, it's a time of togetherness, no matter what your belief system is, all right? And so maybe you're um, you know, you might need to, uh, you know, spend a little bit of time with this person or reach out to this person in some way as well. But this can also, I'm getting a little bit of a past, uh, a past person energy coming out here as well. So for some of you, there may be a grandparent or something that you're missing at this time of year, or maybe you just feel their presence. 
And this is that confirmation that they are around you and they are helping you and guiding you. And, um, you know, don't forget that they're there. Okay, so maybe with the ceremony card, perhaps you're, you know, you want to light a candle in their honor and just uh, call in their energy and just connect with them. All right, and they are here and they are protecting you and guiding you. The energy heading towards you today, the Hierophant. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, the Hierophant, of course, is known as <clears throat> um, as an energy of commitment. Okay. Usually the marriage card. All right. Making something official. So with the Hierophant and the ceremony, okay, perhaps someone is making something a little bit more official, some sort of relationship. But the Hierophant is also about belief systems, about tradition okay, about values. And so perhaps some of you are adhering to custom, uh, cu um, customs and traditions, all right, in the in the days ahead. Maybe you're actually, um, you know, following in someone's footsteps, an ancestor's footsteps, all right, and you're keeping the family traditions alive, all right. Some of you with the Hierophant, you might be looking at some certain family traditions or beliefs, and maybe you're questioning them, okay? You're questioning them. You're not necessarily doubting them but maybe you're like you know what I think this is maybe a little bit old and outdated and I think we need to be a little bit more open and welcoming or you know perhaps you have um, people in your family right we you know siblings get married and things and you know we quite often especially in these days the world is a very small place and so quite often people um, you know, people partner up with people from different backgrounds and cultures and belief systems and values and all of those. So you could be looking to infuse some newness into your, uh, your existing traditions or, or family beliefs. All right. And you might be embracing something a little bit new. So kind of, um, you know, uh, we can embrace someone else's beliefs and break free out of our own traditions and we can enhance something, right? We can be a little bit more open-minded there. All right, but this is can also the hierophant can also be about a higher level of learning as well. And we already see here that for some of you, uh, maybe you're rising above a situation. You've learned a lot um, in the last couple of years. You've expanded your consciousness, right? You've raised your vibration, and uh, sometimes you just need to, um, you know, step into that next level. You're learning how to release and let go. You're learning how to embrace the light and let anything negative um, go to, you know, go to the wayside, right? You're finding that inner peace, enlightenment, and forgiveness. And the higher event shows you that you can really get that done. Okay, so whether you are questioning some beliefs or embracing them, okay, the Hierophant does bring in this very wonderful, um, very kind of uh, spiritual energy into the mix as well, okay, but it can also be one, again, of traditional belief systems, right, Relig very religious cards, so perhaps some of you are looking to infuse your traditional religious values with your spiritual self, and yes, they can absolutely go hand in hand. Okay, spiritual uh, spirituality is really about embracing a lot of different things. Spiritualism is a little bit of a religion. Okay, but uh, so perhaps you're looking to kind of infuse and incorporate a whole bunch of things together. Your advice from spirit comes in here as the moon card. Interesting, considering we have that cold moon. So something hidden may be coming to light. Something that has been forgotten about or buried um, may be coming up to the surface. Okay, you might be um, on a energy, uh, you might be on a situation where you are uncovering and discovering uh, some information even, okay, because the moon can actually reveal uh, in the light of the moon. We see things differently in the light of the moon energy, right? We see things a little bit differently than in the brightness of the sun. We see those uh, shadows, okay? Some of you might actually um, have some fears or hidden dreams or something that may be coming to light, okay? And spirit wants you to see the truth of situations, okay? To get things out in the open, all right? And your advice here is to embrace your subconscious energies, okay? To speak your truth, to speak your light, okay? And to um, maybe even you've got a secret or something that needs to be revealed. I mean, the moon card is, isn't necessarily one of secrets, okay? But it is, you know, about things in the subconscious, things that are hidden. So maybe you have some, uh, maybe you have been hiding 
something, okay, from your family, all right, and this may be that time when you're revealing something, okay, and maybe you could be that in that energy where you come from a very um, strict traditional uh, religious family, okay, or maybe you have some very uh, strict belief systems that you grew up with, and now you're embracing all of the other wonders of the universe, okay, and you're expanding your horizons there, but maybe you've been a little bit secretive, and, uh, you know, now might be that time to face the fear of telling your family about certain things, okay? Um, you know, because that hidden energy that comes out with the moon. But the moon is also an emotional energy and your advice from spirit is whatever situations that you're dealing with, okay? Remember your inner strength, your power here with the emperor card, okay? And try and keep your emotions in check, all right? And, you know, you might even want to sidestep any kind of drama or anything like that that may be um, headed your way, okay? Um, but the moon card is also a very creative energy, okay? And, you know, so maybe you need to take a creative approach to something, okay? You need to try and get things done. You need to power through, all right? But the moon is uh, also one that reminds you to follow your intuition, okay? It is one as very, uh, very psychic card, okay? It's one where your intuition is high highlighted as well. Okay, so there might be something that you're scared to do that you need to do anyway. Okay, sometimes we've faced those fears, right? Maybe there's some some um, family issue that comes to the surface, okay? And we need to face that, but also keep your emotions in check, right? When that emperor can help you do that, okay? And, you know, but whatever your situation happens to be, trust your intuition. Some of you are opening up your spiritual gifts and maybe you're questioning uh, some traditional values, okay? But whatever that looks like for you, trust that intuition of yours. You may even have some, uh, a little bit of enlightenment headed your way, okay? But with that moon card, um... With that moon card there, the Hierophant, the Emperor, and the Ceremony, again, I feel if, if some of you have a past loved one that you're really missing, um, you have a great ability to connect with their energy right now. So again, light, light, light a candle for them, okay, and just think about them and call them in. They're always there, all right, and, um, you know, it's you'll feel their presence, okay, watch for signs, watch for symbols, maybe in your dreams, maybe you'll find a coin somewhere, dimes or uh, a favorite, okay, repeating numbers. There's messages in repeating numbers as well. And the blessings headed your way. We have the hanged man, okay? And, you know, some people look at the hanged man. How is this a blessing? The hanged man brings some patience to your situation, brings you the ability to take a step back and look at the big picture. This gives you the ability to be open-minded, open-hearted, to open up to other people's beliefs, other people's experiences, other people's information, other people's point of view. And this is really one of, you know, keeping that open mind and being open and receptive. The moon actually, uh, as, far as, as part of advice from spirit, is to be open and receptive. The moon is that yin energy, okay, of receptivity. Okay, so, um, you know, but that hanged man, there might be something that you need to think about a little bit. But when you do think about something and you look at that big picture, okay, or you look at, um, you know, you look at the truth of a situation, or maybe you just look, um, you know, are receptive to someone else's ideas, okay, it gives you the light bulb, okay, the light bulb goes off in your head, it gives you that, uh, that energy of being a little bit more enlightened. Um, and it's a wonderful energy and but it is one of um, of calm of patience of even slowing things down a little bit all right so in the hustle and bustle of your days ahead remember to take a time out for yourself all right and you may be you may find yourself um, all of a sudden you know you're like wow I have an extra hour to myself do something nice for yourself there okay take advantage of um, a, a lull in the in the activities that may be around you okay and that's where you can take care of yourself you can have some self-care okay but that's in those periods of quiet we can think about things a little bit and of course we can expand our mind and horizon so it is an energy of being open Okay, expanding your horizons and your blessing is that patience, is that being willing to be open. And we have that coming here with that hierophant as well. Okay, so um, especially if you've got, um, you know, 
traditions, okay, that you're looking to change or inc or incorporate even as well. And that open-minded energy with the hanged man is certainly a blessing for you. All right, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to close out your reading here, though, with a couple of angel wishes cards and see what messages these angels have for you guys. Oh, look, I got a twofer there. And I think I'm going to pull you four because we do have two fours coming out. The ceremony card is a number four. The emperor card is a number four. Um, so let's see. And two more there. There we go. So your first card, your first message, your angels will only give you the challenges that you are capable of handling. We actually never get more than we can actually handle. It feels sometimes daunting at the time. All right, but remember you can power through and that emperor gives you that ability. You know you can do it. All right, so spirits, as the angels here are really giving you some words of a comp words of a uh, 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 confidence. Okay. Giving you this little bit of a power boost there. We also have, remember your angels are always there to guide you. Yes, they are your angels, your guides, your past loved ones, always there. You can always connect and you can always communicate. And we have ask your inner self, the answer to your question. There's that moon energy a little bit. Okay. There's that hanged man energy. Okay. We'll go in and look for the bigger picture. All right, and you will find that answer. Okay, trust your intuition. I'm gonna leave that there for you guys. I'm wishing you all a very Merry Christmas uh, Christmas Eve. Um, I hope you guys get everything done. I hope you guys have find some time for yourself. All right, and whatever it is, I hope you have a lot of love, light, and positivity in your day ahead. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave that there. So I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.